All right, now I'm gonna regenerate the code with Gemini as well. So this throws an error. We'll feed the error back into Gemini and see if it can fix it. Wow, this is surprising. Gemini is not finding its mistake. It's trying to get me to debug the library itself. It's not gonna make any difference at all. Gemini is just trying some weird stuff now. All right, it is time to put ChatGPT and Gemini to the test head to head. We're gonna ask both of them to generate a curriculum for our Voyager bot. And actually I've pre-recorded these videos so that we can see them side by side. First, I'm gonna start the ChatGPT one. There it goes, I'll give it a bit of a head start. Don't worry, it's not a close race. Gemini is thinking. And it's already done and ChatGPT is continuing to generate an answer. And there, now both are done. 12 seconds for Gemini and about 42 seconds for ChatGPT. Obviously, in this case, it is actually providing uh, a longer curriculum and more information. First of all, I just wanna point out how thoroughly Google copied ChatGPT on this interface. The drop downs and text inputs are the exact same. The font size is the exact same. The area of the screen that it takes up is the exact same. Google basically just said, well, if it works for OpenAI, it works for us. Before we jump into the analysis, of the responses, I just want to point out that the speed and length of the responses don't actually matter a whole lot for this particular use case. The point of generating the curriculum is to provide a plan for the software development. And the planning will be an iterative process, so each of these LLMs will have a chance to update their curriculum later on. However, it is important that each task in the curriculum is accurate, that the bot will actually be able to perform the task, and that it will lead the bot along a logical progression toward more and more complex skills. This is actually one of the worst curriculums that I've seen generated by ChatGPT. You can see it starts with navigate to a specific location. That's great, easy task. Jump over a block, completely unnecessary. Swim in water to reach a destination. Again, not a high priority. And then it goes into resource gathering, which is good, but punch a tree to collect wood. You're skipping the step of actually finding the tree. More importantly, it goes straight in the second step into mine cobblestone with a pickaxe, but it hasn't actually taught the bot how to get the materials for the pickaxe or craft the pickaxe, it's done better in other runs. And Gemini, in contrast, on this run did particularly well. It jumps right into the action, identify a tree and walk towards it, break a block of wood from the tree, open the player's crafting menu and craft a table. It does skip things like actually collect the wood block, but in general, this is a pretty good curriculum. I do see in step nine, it says find an ore block, iron ore block, and mine it with a stone pickaxe. Finding an iron ore block is going going to be arguably pretty difficult, could require fighting mobs in caves. So I would rather see it teach the bot fighting before it goes after iron. This is really interesting, actually. I didn't even notice that ChatGPT had crafting basics after resource gathering. Also, I love the phase four and phase five of ChatGPT's curriculum. It goes into exploration and combat prep, and then basic combat and defense. And I like this because this is before mining iron ore. All in all, I'd say both LLMs did a sufficiently good job for this step. ChatGPT did make the one mistake of mining using a pickaxe before it's actually learned how to create a pickaxe. However, overall, I'd say ChatGPT's curriculum seems a little more thorough than Gemini's. Now we're gonna move on to the actual code generation. So I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I as a human am still in the loop and I'm gonna pull all of the best tasks from a number of different curriculum generation runs. The first task I'm giving these LLMs is to generate code to navigate to a specific location. So here we have of ChatGPT's response. As expected, it was able to perform the task in a relatively small amount of code. And since part of the context into this GPT is the main.js file that I have currently, ChatGPT did provide guidance on how to integrate the function into my existing code. Here's Gemini's response. I will say Gemini thought a lot longer about this one. It's a 700 word prompt, pretty complex. It's sort of repeating the prompt back to me in this plan act revise structure. And as you can see, it generated a ton more code than ChatGPT, even though I specifically told it to do it using the simplest code possible. For some reason, Gemini thinks that it's important to track nearby entities and reroute the bot based on those entities. Kind of an interesting concept, but not really necessary in this case. The biggest problem I have here with this code, A, it imports the Pathfinder module, but never tries to actually uh, load the plugin. More importantly here in the navigate to function, it just starts calling 
calling the bot object without any bot object being declared previously. So at this point, I started testing out the code and then realized that I was running into errors loading the uh, Mindflare pathfinding plugin. And basically, I need to switch to CommonJS instead of using the more modern ES modules. All right, so now after a bit of finagling, we are back on course. This is the code generated by ChatGPT. This now uses CommonJS instead of ES modules. You can see it loads the plugin correctly. Now these three lines, I'm actually going to move into main.js and then the navigate to function, I'm gonna put it in its own file. More like preferences, not really things that I would expect the LLMs to automatically do. Now finally, let's test out the ChatGPT implementation. You'll see Alpha join the game. There he is over there because I've run this test before. But in a few seconds here, he's gonna teleport to his starting location. There he goes. And then he moves back to the target location, which is 10 blocks X direction, 10 blocks Z direction. All right, now I'm gonna regenerate the code with Gemini as well. So this looks pretty perfect with the better structure that I've now provided with common.js, or at least I thought Gemini had figured it out. Turns out there's errors. First, it creates this MC data variable, which doesn't do anything, but it also defines the target location just as a JavaScript object. The problem is set goal needs a goal block, not a JavaScript object. So this throws an error. We'll feed the error back into Gemini and see if it can fix it. Wow, this is surprising. The error message indicates an issue with the Mindflare Pathfinder library itself. There's a part of the Pathfinder's internal logic where it expects state goal to have a method called is valid. However, it appears that in your setup, something about state goal is incorrect. So Gemini is not finding its mistake. It's trying to get me to debug the library itself. <laughs> Then when it does provide some updated code, it just adds another function is moving before setting the goal. It's not gonna make any difference at all. Let's try giving it a hint and see if it can figure out the error. The problem is with target, not with set goal. And here we go. That hint changes the focus of our troubleshooting. Problem lies with the target object. Here is the updated navigate to function, and we'll try this out. Another crash, you can see it's using Pathfinder, but it's not importing that module. So I passed in the import error into Gemini, and it still cannot figure out how to import Pathfinder correctly. It grabs bot.pathfinder and passes that into the navigate to function, but that's not the correct module. That's just a member variable of the bot object. Gemini is just trying some weird stuff now. Honestly, if Gemini is this bad, I'm not sure we'll even be able to continue with the head-to-head -head experiment with ChatGPT. Really, it both struggles to keep track of the context accurately, and it just can't figure out how to generate this import. And this is what Gemini is able to achieve. Crash. So I think this puts to rest the question of whether Google has caught up to OpenAI. I was really hoping it would be a little bit closer. With this coding performance, I really can't believe that Google came out boasting about beating GPT-4. There's still just no comparison, and OpenAI is going to come out with, with a new model at some point this year. Thanks for watching.